That's the resistance in the space-time continuum that causes inertia. And I'm getting to the point where I'll, I'll explain how these coils, how these sanding surfs attract me and um, how they can then utilize it. Uh, this is more of a, a original momentum converter, but I'll explain real quick because it has to do compound accelerations. The next one is now, this is with the figure eight in the coil. But Newton said that if it is in orbit around, for instance, or it's trapped circle, not constantly at the same, it's under constant exception. Although it is traveling at this velocity, constantly changing direction, in order to be completely changing direction, it has to be under acceleration. And uh, that's how this momentum converter would It would pull in along the armature of a spinning wheel, so that the way one side of the wheel, very close to the rotation at the center, and they have very little simple force trying to fly away. And the way the other side of the rotation, far away, they're allowed to fuck, and they have a lot of difficult force wanting to play. So as the wheel faster and faster, pull the weights in and let them out. The weights are not only under concentration around and around, but they're going in and out, and in and out. It's a secondary conceleration. Um, allow to overcome gravity, allows it to overcome it. And, uh, in a way, that's what figure eight coils. They create something in more two dimensions. As this um, linear momentum does, it creates a half of a disk in three dimensions. You spin a disk, you spin it on the x-axis, you spin it on the y-axis, and you spin it on the axis. Now you have three concelerations going, and this added to the heavy side of the mass, so it never reaches the hemisphere. All the centrifugal vectors add up to go one. Now this can be anti-gravity, or rotational to linear conversion as a machine. On the other hand, it's the other way too. Gravity waves come in, and they push electrons in this coil in all three dimensions. And that electron is spun more and more and more, and it, it uh, radi EMF. And so the gravity is actually being turned by this technique to a magnetic force. You can in the opposite way and turn gravity force. So I'll skip over this much because it's not in the uh, tender coil um, family, but it does describe a uh, something in three dimensions can form a figure which will create the linear uh, direction of momentum. And uh, again, the ray can be used to um, drive a high gravity um, space instance. Um, if drag around the north of an atom, at the rate that this coil is around electrons in, it will tend to want them in the one direction. And that might be useful in UOs or whatever. And uh, here's the part where, as I said, Newton says something constant orbit is constant acceleration. But if you were to have a vehicle hover over Earth for the same amount of time it takes a set to uh, travel Earth once, the vehicle would reach light speed. Or it would spend enough money, uh, energy wise, to reach light speed, the time it takes a satellite around the Earth. So this um, pulls together some time and rotation into our continuum. And it's our continuum in terms of rotation, to momentum, gravity, and all that stuff. Now, this is need to harp on for a minute because it's what these cells are all about. You're adding acceleration onto, acceler onto acceleration. You start with uh, a straight line. This is one acceleration. Then you have a circle. Then what you do is you bend circle. So you have it going around and around, and it's going up and as the bend it all takes place. Just as these coils are bent figure eights, so going around the figure eight, is also going up and down at the same time. Then you would flipper the uh, bent circle into a fate. So it's going around and around, up and down, going back and forth. It starts right-handed, that's to change direction, left-handed, another constant accelerator. You make one side of the fig big, and you make one small. So it's going first for acceleration, and it's also going on one side and out on the other side, and in on one out on the other side. Yet another concentration. And you do this three times, you make it uh, shrink three times, and then you make it get three times. That's another constant acceleration. So finally, you want something that looks like a coil which is a bent three-decker clover. Um, the first three coils are bent down to 72 degrees. And then it takes a left turn. It's bent upward 72 degrees on each. So you're getting all the rotations possible in an XYZ axis. And you have 13, really, accelerations all bent there. And this is with the, um, the E waves. There's so many waves going on. There's so many accelerations that if you can accelerate your electron 13 tensions, if you will, that's when you start being... Really Res the waves, and you want something called um, harmonic resonance or like resonance. If you have a string, get to E, the guitar string next to that to E, you pluck the first one, the one will also resonate and uh, just like the first. So that's simple resonance, and that's what coils attempt to do is sympathetically resonate with the waves coming in and out. Four different waves, right, right out, left it out, and the three sets of each of those. So there's actually 12 waves, like charts on a clock, and um, these tensor coils, yes, all 12 waves. And um, this is what sway waves are all about, too. What you're doing by shrinking 
the figure eight, and then expanding the rates, making the wave go faster, 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 slower, 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 faster, faster. If you accelerate something faster and then slower, and then slower, and then slower, that's also equal to an acceleration. You're speeding it up and slowing it down. It doesn't have a spatial um, ref in that case. You can just have up and down faster or side to side fast and slower and fast, slower. Uh, you've got to go both ways. Decelerating something is just as much a acceleration as accelerating something to an observer. And we don't usually have acceleration way, but it's true. The more waves you can put inside, more waves, the more accelerations you're going to get. That's why there are fractal patterns that go into the coils, which I'll get to in a minute. That you have to add the coil, you not only the leaf of the coil, a certain shape that resonates with it, but as you do so, you have to twist the coil, a certain pattern that will help resonate with these. And uh, difficult to make, they take quite a while because you have, to, you have to be very patient and in just the right way. And, Make sure the shape, and then they'll bend shape, because you're always against the ether wind, if you will. So you constantly fight this ether wind to get them shape. And here we go, we can skip. It's kind of a comic video. Now we're getting to the coil here, uh, that attempting to resonate with waves. The half of the coil, I guess I can draw it later. Hey, can I display this back to the, uh, can I do this first and then display later? Yeah, I'll go to the, uh, there we go. I'll go back in a minute here. The coil basically is a wire that comes down, and then you start a righted loop, like so. It is bent downward, and then a left-handed loop. Now, the left loop is going to be 10% bigger than the handed loop. As I said, the right hand waves are small, tighter. Ah. Thank you. The right-handed waves are smaller than the left hand is. And uh, so the right-handed wave is going to be a little more cracked. And by doing so, 144 degrees of rotation, five spiral on this side, loop. This is going clockwise and downward inward. At the end of the loop, rotation is much more so than at the beginning of the loop. So this is 104 degrees of five, five spiral of the rotation. Then the eleven. So you're surfing a right-hand inward wave going down. Then, at the loop, the electron is going up into a wave, with a right-handed outbound wave going on. And we'll travel all the end here. Again, another 140 degrees of rotation of... And you, so during this time, you all, the entire loop bent 36 degrees each side worth of phi rotation. So it down 36 degrees, goes up 36 degrees. That way you have a full 60 of right-handed rotation on this side. And again, I do have 36 degrees bent down. Uh, a total of six, two degrees, which is one side of phi, uh, you know, sided pentagram. And uh, everything resonates with phi. That's the idea, is to resonate with these phi waves and surf these waves. So you've got a left-hand wave going down or surfing. Here it jumps to a left-hand wave, decreasing in uh, parity as far as rotation. And you're surfing. The wave. Then it drops down. And again, uh, compound and accelerate your, your loop will be phi measure shorter. If this loop here is the eight units long on this, it would be eight, eight, ten percent long left side here, and you would drop down. Next loop would be five units, the Fibonacci are less, or a phi Golgio less. Of. So this and this would be five point. You have the same hundred and four. So you have another options, and you would have eight point three on this side. You would have a loop. Then you would go out of phase loop, and then a right hand. And these are nine bent upward, like that. These are designed to catch one radiating the coil. This would be left, right, and then left here. Into the loop, you end, the, you start, all your tensors have to end right, otherwise, or you'll bleed out, and it will happen. They'll uh, get out of shape, they won't. It's important to start, and whatever you do, if your purpose is geometry in any way, do it near compressed gear batteries. For tracking energy, in spontaneous, I've uh, had a lot, of, some I can't replicate them, or I haven't yet. And, but um, pretty seriously, right clockwise. Action of gravity, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Right and end them right. This one right, electrons back into the enough, or this entire circuit rotating so it'll want to leave, but rather than do so, being EMF. And uh, here, if you're is super con talking about cleaning, you would have to be a super. Uh, I have, but if we have real electro, if it's not only getting charged, tron, travel, and you might get some free, but. Um, or something, if it was super lot of energy out of this. So, how do I go back to the uh, presentation? So, this loop, right, left, and it's first, um, co then second coil. Uh-oh. 
Doesn't seem. Yeah, <clears throat> right, left, down, left, down, then left, right, up, and that transmits into these coils are all made. The solder aluminum or aluminum got one up here that I mean lead into is aluminum, but they are. But feels the energy field. I would ask you guys these coils do that here. You can feel the effect. I enjoy showing people. So um, I have had some effects, but as to come up here and at the end of your finger, put here conductor of energy because it. And water. I would hope that you would this. I've had people call it like it's like your times. It detects. You can feel it twist. And quite an interesting effect because it does very well where these uh, fields exist. One field. Thank you. Uh, any takers? Anybody checking these out? My friend uh, here, and um, I was last year at the Anvil Association. me because I was able to Washington down to Los Angeles showing him and after he won that's the shop I thought wow show everybody show the world what these because uh, I'm figuring this out I haven't really found for this I really touch I enjoy showing these so I like to hold it near the edge of kind of pull and put well copper or gold afford it I make one out of dangle yeah actually I made one out of water through it for this demonstration, a real pain in the neck. But when I ran water, when I ran water, did loop first, out eventually in a vertical. But when I did loop starting, chaotic. Because in ca your curve, no matter, is always subject, begins in a positive, positive throughout the entire. It's the same with these coils. It, you'll get, if you start as chaos and disrupt. I said I've had all messing with left handed and sinister and tricky, and <laughs> whatever you want to call it, you know. Well, I haven't got to the fractal. I'll get to those. Here, you want to try a different one? They're all a little different. This is one here. Yeah, I'm well, you know, so I, it's, uh, well, I mean, you're the waves and it captures. No. The above, yeah, it's, they call it Peron, or the, four, um, uh, William Wright call it energy, energy. Boxes, back in the day, energy, in the, because in this pitch, just by chance, all, uh, I didn't make this, and, um, increases your balance, sold this to me. Said, um, and he held my hand, and he, and I go, okay, I'd put this on, and I repeated the experiment once. So, uh, this looks either I'm embarrassed, I'm not sure this works. It has a couple of gems that own, but it does ended energy because that's balance. If you know, and balance them, let apart and follow. But uh, really, wow, I'm gonna have to make really upper and insulation. And all right, you, okay. cool. It doesn't matter the way that works, you know. And others, and you know, feel it. So, energy field, too. You know? Really? Huh, interesting. The patterns that I use, because there's the geometry that I, if you make them just the loops, but the thing to do is when I'll start making one up to, um, in, oh, excuse me, loops. Uh, the, this is an expose, yeah, I guess you could call it. I put two, one's the control group of sprouting. And over time, jar with the lentils uh, to it, spur and heavier group, and not a great deal. And uh, this is if you even in a, an aqueduct over them, get that effect. And uh, this is another uh, this coil, like, and you spin the north pole of in this path, right, left, right, faster and faster, and faster and faster. Eventually, as happens in nature, ways will excel this or an atom right out of. Do that artificially, pulling the geometry of the, in a. Uh, so this would probably be inter travel, you know, warp drive. Uh, this would accelerate just under the magnetic uh, faster and faster. Without a little rotational acceleration, this time spin other wind. Here determines the fact that uh, I'm so had to skip over a enough time. Or, uh, if you look at shower, water going down the drain, you'll notice off times out from the drain spiraling in, but these are standing waves. They, and you can splash and they'll go away for a place. Or, the water has a little too fast, bunches up, and then it loosens up again, and then it bunches up again. Any wave that has to do with the phase shifting water. Figure out where these in the ether waves. So I kind of this is mathematical graph where the waves resonate with these little the resonance. So it's not in the shape of the wave, the acceleration ending within the wave, and you'll get even more. In. And it's a five-sided pendulum. And the average rotation um, 
just like two feet per second per downward way, there had to be twi about 72 degrees as it accelerated. So this would happen on the on the uh, macro level, kind of even out on the atomic level. They they around and around and, uh, straight down. But you take a five side and you accelerate it seven. In the next second, you would 0.618 time, which would be about 108. The third second would be 180 degrees. So you're every second two degrees times um, that number times one. And every time 360 degrees is over, and you see the for the first three seconds, you're looking at the that would be one full, and it flips over, and you're looking for faster and faster the wheel for one second over again, and you'll because now the wheel's going degrees of 70 traveling three times. You only see it once. So really, what you're doing the side of the wheel for white as it accelerate a la 72 degrees basically is what it is. This will give you a pattern and where the in the waves in the and this is um for right, as I said into a right-handed into a right-handed and you can a left-handed more organized you'll hold more information